Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. Hold on tight. We're in for an exciting one. All that and more coming up next. No single building has played host to more Super Bowls than this one right here. The Caesar Superdome in the Crescent City of New Orleans. This is Super Bowl 59, and we've got an outstanding matchup on tap. The moment is upon us, and we've got what should be an epic one here. As it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis and what a season it's been for our AFC champions. I mean, this was a fight just to get to the Super Bowl. You got to figure that they are very battle tested and ready. I'd agree with you 100% about that. You don't get there without having those types of attributes and that's what you look for in a Super Bowl team. Character, confidence. These guys don't lack for either one of those. Now they're here. Now they're ready to win. Meanwhile, for our champions of the NFC, this was a battle of attrition this year. It was a tough road to get here, but now they feel like they are battle-tested and ready to go. And that certainly cannot be overworked. They've taken everyone's best shot this season, and they've withstood all of them. Well, the Chiefs offense is going to make their way out and at the helm, a now three-time Super Bowl MVP in his eighth season in the NFL, it's Patrick Mahomes. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. He'll get this into the hands of the rookie from Texas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the final tally certainly no settling into the drive there they came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down first carry now for kareem hunt and he gets forward up the middle but only for a couple it'll be second down Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. To throw, it's Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. So now following the roll of the dice, they've got a first and ten inside the 35. Now Mahomes gives to Hunt. Credit the tackle to Isaac Yidem. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Ball on the 27. Here's second down and five. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. Now Mahomes. Open man. 
It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, 27 yards. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. So that drives seven plays in length. And it culminates in a Travis Kelsey touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Well, the 49ers get ready to go on offense, and it's the Pro Bowler Brock Purdy at the helm in his third NFL season now out of Iowa State. As we begin the Super Bowl, we are looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10, just shy of the 30. The drive begins with Mason. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. Purdy looking to throw. Open man, that's Ronnie Bell. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. The Niners have the first down on a gain of 11. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter... Can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher, third and six. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run. Went with straight-ahead pursuit and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Now Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 42. 15 yards there on the catch and run. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me... Their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 42-yard line. Here's the option. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now we're at the 41, second and nine.
Here's Purdy. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, 41 yards. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying this Super Bowl at seven. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the replay official. Is this a touchdown? That's the question. CD, what are they looking for here? You just need any part of the football to break the plane. You don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So take away the touchdown. The officials rule he did not get the football to break the plane. First and goal and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. They run it with Mason. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal. And they sent that play backwards. Back to throw, Purdy. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. Ronnie Bell from four yards out. And the Niners are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And the end result for the 49ers, a touchdown. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. And that one into the hands of Hopkins downfield. Down to the 10. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 73 yards, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. Seeing some pretty good offense here in this first quarter. It's been a wild start to this quarter, as you noted, and now with that lead that we're seeing, can they retaliate? I get the sense this one's going to go back and forth all game long. And that probably won't be the last long touchdown that we see in this one. Butker now to add the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown.
Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. A lane opens here. He's past the 30. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Purdy. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He's got Mason complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and one. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. Purdy will look to throw again here. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Purdy now to throw. Caught here by Bell. And they eventually get to him at the 17 after a pickup of 17. Into the red zone, first down. We are just getting started here at Super Bowl 59 in New Orleans. One quarter in the books. It's a close game here early on. We'll return after this message. You're watching the NFL, and it's right here on EA Sports. And we are back. Biggest game of the year, the Super Bowl, and both teams ready for the start of the second quarter. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. And throwing here, Purdy. Right back to Bell, and it's caught once again. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. I think as he began this throw, you saw that the area was congested, but he has a lot of confidence in his arm, and he fits that one in there nicely. They pick up the catch. Not much yardage afterwards. Now Mason. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. They'll run again with Mason. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Second and goal from the one. Looking to throw. Purdy. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Ah, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. Third and goal, a big play in this Super Bowl. 
Back to throw. Purdy. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Niners are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Now Moody for the PAT. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A 10-play drive that time. And it all ends with a George Kittle touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Here's Mahomes to throw. That's caught right side by Worthy. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. What I love about watching the passing game nowadays is that the one-dimensional receiver is really starting to leave the game. You've got to be able to do it all. Of course, you've got to run fast. Of course, you've got to catch the ball. But route running savvy and toughness, there's a premium for all of that now. Caught left side, Hopkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mahomes going to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Normally, you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Here's second and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down another zone defense it looks like it's open for possibilities but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion so back-to-back -back incompletions and that has them staring at a third and ten now here's Mahomes pass taken in by his big tight end and this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. he's up over 50 yards receiving now in this first half it's a first down and that's well executed there on third down and i love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision and qbs love to make that easy throw and they hooked up there for a first down to throw it's Mahomes another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey and they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds consecutive catches for him that good for 11 what a drive this has been just chewing up the yardage and here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six so here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20 now it's Mahomes again. That's complete left side to Worthy. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. 
and decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Second down and four. Now Mahomes. That's into the hands of Lordy once again. And the Chiefs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Throwing now is Mahomes. This is caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Travis Kelsey, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Chiefs have broken our tie as they take the lead. Well, just a sensational start for this offense, Charles. Three drives, three passing touchdowns. Is that like mentioning a perfect game in baseball? Or are we cool to do it here in football, partner? No, I think you can do it here in football. I think perfect game in baseball, that, that's its own category. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Could not imagine a worse start for that secondary, or let's face it, a better one for this offense. No chance they stop passing now the way that it's going. I think they can continue to press the ball downfield and hopefully reap the same results. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused on the trenches. There was good protection there. Excellent protection. So now defensively, You've almost got to get down into those starters blocks like you're a sprinter, get lower than those guys on offense and find a way to roar through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now they run, it's Mason. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, You've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and eight. Purdy looking to throw. Got it to Bell on the out run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 27. Now Purdy. Throwing the out round incomplete. It's Bell. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Purdy. And it's caught.
Second and goal from the one. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Justin Reed. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, this defense, they've been terrific all year, and they come through with a pick six here on the game's biggest stage. Perfect descriptor there because we have seen this time and time again. This defense, their ability to take the ball away from teams, they definitely have a nose for the football, and it pays off again on that play. Butker on for the PAT. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And fresh off that pick six, here's Purdy. He finds his man complete. It's Mason. No gain and it's second down. Uh, they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Debo going in motion left. Back to throw, Purdy. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's a gain of 34. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Purdy. That is taken down. A cheap sack. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Purdy will set up to throw it here. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, 
you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Nineteen seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Butker now to kick this one away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And right now, their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great, but perhaps that long halftime, maybe it did them a world of good. But if there's ever a chance to regroup, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that long halftime, a chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That was the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Well, that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. Operating from the gun, Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Back to throw now on first down. That's caught out right by Jennings. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 46. Mason breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. The 20. Touchdown, 40. Jordan Mason, 46 yards. The 49ers have got it back to within a score. Well, I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point try now for Moody. He 
He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. A drive there of just four plays. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And, and even though they have that lead, it feels like a back-and-forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. But I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Mahomes now to throw. Got a man over the middle, Worthy. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Fred Warner, the all-pro linebacker there on the stop. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Looking to throw is Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 40. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10, right at the 40. Here's Mahomes to throw. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. A well, turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. So what a turnaround to begin this second half. A touchdown and then the fumble recovery in quick succession. It certainly feels like whatever was said at the half, it certainly struck the right chord because they've come out with a lot more fire here in this third quarter. Down two scores at the half. Now they're right back in this thing with a chance to capitalize right here. And San Francisco gets set to go here. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 
And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Now a second and ten. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. On second and ten, Mahomes, it's complete to Hopkins. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Mahomes going to throw. That's into the hands of Worthy. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep first and goal. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Now here's Mahomes. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Mahomes to throw once more. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. They isolate Hopkins on the left side. In motion, the tight end, Kelsey. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown! Juju Smith-Schuster on the touchdown pass from Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs will extend their third quarter lead here in this Super Bowl. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Extra point by Butker is on target, and the lead now up to 14. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it's capped off by the touchdown from Juju Smith-Schuster. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Oh. 
And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Well, the 49ers settling in for their next drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Third quarter, Super Bowl 58. Here's a second and 10 now. Purdy now to throw. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. The throwing here, Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two. And the officials here are going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. He was able to make the play. Shotgun now with Purdy. Connects with Kittle underneath. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll make it third down. Well, that was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. Here is third down and four. Purdy looking to throw. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Oftentimes, we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Now Purdy. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Third quarter of the biggest spectacle in sport, the Super Bowl. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Second and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. Mason, and he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. Here's Purdy. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. So that's the end of three here in Super Bowl 59 from Caesar Superdome. The fourth and final quarter coming right up. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
Folks, welcome back to the biggest stage in sports, the Super Bowl. And now we get down to the good stuff, the fourth and final quarter. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Operating from the gun. Purdy, a dump off for Mason. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw, Purdy. That is caught. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 13-yard line. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Mason on the toss. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. The 71 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And deep. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Brock Purdy. Scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Niners have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Moody good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10, right at the 30. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And some space here. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And what a tough spot for this defense because they know it's coming, but they're just powerless to stop it. What a great run there to start the drive. And you can bet there'll be more where that came from as they try to ice this game away. Quick throw into the hands of Hopkins out wide. So just three yards on the completion there. 
And that'll bring up second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On the counter, Hunt. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 35. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. To throw, it's Mahomes. Buying time to his left. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Noah Gray, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Chiefs are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. Now that's certainly an important touchdown there. It makes this a two-score game. But as we've seen, no lead is safe in this one with the way these two offenses have lit up the scoreboard. I would imagine that on their sidelines, they're both yelling at their defenses, hey, you want to get involved here? One big play from you. That could win the game for us. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Throws quickly and he's got George Kittle. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain.
The Niners on third down. They've been excellent. Six for seven. This time it's third and three. Purdy. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. They'll look to throw again. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. I certainly like what he did right there because he smartly wanted to avoid forcing anything downfield because nothing appeared to be open. Nice harmless slide there to avoid the big hit, and he gets a small gain on the play. Second and six coming up. Looking to throw. Purdy. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throws the out route and completes it to Samuel. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Now second down and a few inches. Here's Purdy to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Purdy to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Now, what can the Niners do as they face a big two-point conversion here? Purdy to throw. And he will get into the end zone, and a two-point conversion will cut this down to a six-point game. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. And sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Casey's offense ready to take over. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see him take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. 
And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes third down at seven. Now Mahomes, able to find Gray here. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. And they will take a knee here. Mahomes going to hand it off to Hunt. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. And on fourth down, they come up and take the knee. And the Kansas City Chiefs are the Super Bowl champions. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way, didn't have to face some adversity in the journey, and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all offseason, They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. And they are the Super Bowl champs. The Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. And what a season.